Super easy. Got my tape, the outside edge. I use automotive tape because we we do cars. This is the most efficient. Just come back with some scissors. You can find this plastic at like an automotive paint store. Same with the tape. And I come back with tape. And I just lay the tape right over the edge. I've already done these. So those are all ready. I just have this one here. That one I'll throw some plastic up and I'm ready for painting. I'm using the Graco Magnum X7 from Home Depot. I also have a wand extension on there. This thing sure did make quick work of this tiny camper. Okay, I just did the first coat of primer. See what it looks like. It's looking better. It's pretty rough, but it wants to run usually if I get too heavy too quick. So I just did a real light coat and I'll come back Hit it a little heavier once it's dry. I'm gonna get a fan on it now. up with the painting of the trailer so it's a little bit uh, sticky still as you can hear my feet um, I'll flip the camera around and show you what it looks like this little camper was pretty bouncy when you get inside the suspension was very soft, so we went ahead and bought some trailer stabilizer jacks. I found them on Amazon. I bought two packs of two and just bolted them to the frame of the trailer. They made a huge difference in the stability of this camper. Here I am installing the vinyl flooring. It's a life proof, meaning it is waterproof and scratch resistant. This went in really easy. The installation took no time at all and we're very happy with the end result. So I am in the trailer, just getting finished up with the flooring. Check that out. So I got the majority of it done. The only thing left is that little edge. It's like an inch and a half wide. And I gotta fill that in by the door. Once this floor is done, I can start on the, the cabinets and the seating. So that'll be really good. Sliding is quite interesting. Just got really tan. <laughs> I'll keep you updated.
My wife picked out her cabinets on Amazon. She went with a boho style rattan patterned door um, cabinet. We both really like the look of them. They fit almost perfectly with three of them across and we just plan to put the countertop directly on these. I plan to cut five inches out of this. And that way, once we put them in there at the right height, so that's one of three built. I know my miter saw probably isn't made to cut metal, but this metal was so thin it cut through it like butter. Uh, the reason we cut these down again was just to get our countertop height right where we wanted it and fitting underneath the window in the front of the trailer, cutting five inches out landed almost perfect. Here I'm just grinding all of the edges to get them ready for welding. Because of my busy schedule I forgot to film all of that. Uh, I just welded each of these back together and then bolted them onto the bottom of the cabinets. We decided to go with butcher block for our countertops. We found this at Home Depot. It was affordable and we liked the look of it. All I did was apply some polyurethane, sand it down. I did that, uh, I think, three coats and it was a quick, easy install from there. To install the butcher block, all I did was place it on top of the cabinets and ran some two inch screws through the top of the cabinets into the butcher block, which is all we needed for this application. It holds it plenty strong. Um, as you can see, this butcher block isn't quite long enough to reach the width of the trailer. So the plan is to get some brass and do a little seam and then add the rest of the butcher block on the end. I haven't gotten around to it yet, but we are very excited with how far we've come with this little camper. We really love the look of it and cannot wait to get this thing finished. <laughs> 